Hey team, you know there are hundreds of publications out there and sometimes it can become overwhelming with the amount of knowledge that is out there that we need to know and, and to have sink down into our brain housing group into that gray matter that we have up in our noggin in order to employ on a day-to-day -day basis. And so I wanted to start a series of regulations that I believe that every soldier and NCO needs to know and be aware of more than just studying the study guides. You need to, to crack open the book and start reading some of this black and white information that's out there. That way, if you do that, man, you can master your craft and develop your tactical virtue. So I'm looking forward to your comments. So let's get this thing going. And so the very first one that I think we need to know and to get into is 7-21.13. And that's the soldier's guide, man. This should be the very first thing that we really start to get sunk into us because it tells us about our history. It tells us about some customs and courtesies and all of the basic things that we all need to get right as soldiers and if you're an NCO man this applies to you as well you need to open it up it's not that huge it's not that big of a read you could do it in maybe a week and get a little bit more of a clarification and understanding of what the army wants every soldier to know and to understand and so on that note the very next one I have for you is 7-22.7 and that's the NCO guide man this is something that we need to get into and it says changed over over the course of time as do all uh, regulations that are out there but if we get into the soldier's guide it's going to tell you about NCO business it's going to tell you all the things and the attributes and the characteristics and the competencies that we all need to know and have ingrained into us to be non-commissioned officers we are one of the only militaries in the world who relies so heavily on the core of non-commissioned officers and in fact if you look at recent studies and some news that's coming out of even china who's trying to model some of the education uh, that we do uh, into their nco core as well because they are starting to pick up the fact that the army runs off of the leadership of the core of non-commissioned officers so man make sure you pick this up and read it this month on that note man you got to read 6-22 more you know if you've been to blc you've had classes on army leadership and i know uh, if you're if you're a dadgum nco i know that you've been to the basic leadership course but man you need to open this thing up and you need to start cracking the books and start mastering your craft of what it means to be an army leader in addition man there are hundreds and thousands of other books that you could go to the bookstore used or new and pick up and start to expand your horizon about what it means to be a leader but you all needs to come right back down to what it means to be an army leader again those attributes and those competencies you know I need to I need to know more than just studyguide.com questions I need to know more than just the cliff notes if I want to be an effective army leader so start cracking this thing open and start reading it from time to time and see if you don't become a little bit more effective as a leader in this outstanding army one of the things that we do each and every single day as ncos is dadgum lead some pt it's the first thing that we do each and every single day so you need to get into 7-22.7 and learn more about holistic health and fitness again this is another regulation that i've seen change multiple times over the course of my career and i'll tell you you know it's a it's a big chunk of a book to read uh, as are all of the pt regulations have been but I need to get into it and I need to understand how to do the thing that I do each and every single day. Man, get this into you and do it right because you're setting a standard. Whether you're setting the Army standard or not is another question. And the only way that you can be sure is to dadgum get into the book and start doing things the Army way. And on that note, and this is why you have to get into all of these regulations, right? You need to get into the regulations because people are setting the standard around you. They're telling you what they are telling you is in the regulation, but you need to get in 
to the regulation. You need to know what all of these things say and how they apply to your walk as a soldier and as a leader in the army. So do that, man. And the last one that we need to start talking about is 600-20. I wanted to, to, to not get into the 600s uh, in this one, but this is such a foundational regulation. That's Army Command Policy, and it applies to each and every single one of us, whether we are a junior soldier, whether we are a non-commissioned officer, or whether we are a commissioned officer or in command, right? So... <laughs> This is a one of the, this regulation is not that huge. It's only about like <laughs> it's that thick. It's really uh, something that you could read in a night. You could take a chapter and read it a night, and take some highlighters to it, or or however you want to read you. Uh, but this is definitely one that you need to get into. Not only does it talk about uh, the sexual harassment and assault it talks about equal opportunity, but really most importantly, not most importantly, that's the wrong phrase, but it does tell you your duties and your responsibilities and your authority as an NCO, just like it does for commission officers in command, right? This is the, the foundation. This is the groundwork for who we are as leaders in the army so you need to get in and you need to understand what it says because it's going to give you the big left and right lateral limits throughout the throughout this entire regulation the big ones and then you start applying each and every single other one and you start fitting them in to this reg that way you can be a more effective leader so this is five of them i'm going to challenge you to man at least read one over the course of the next month uh at least skim through one right Get into the regulations and start letting me know what you think about them down in the comments below. And look forward uh, to some future videos on this. Maybe we'll do one like once a month. And that way we can continue uh, to keep this conversation rolling about regulations that we all need to get into and start reading. How many times have I heard soldiers say about a, a leader who is doing something outside of regulation? Well, the only way that we can really know that for sure is to get into the regs and start seeking out some of the guidance and the wisdom of those who uh, is our job to know what these things are. But the only way that we can keep from being a hypocrite when we become a leader or when we become that next step of it in, the, in the leadership rung is to make sure that we're doing things right. And the only way that we can make sure that we're doing things right is to get into the dadgum regs. So again, man, let me know what you think down in the comments below. We'll keep this conversation rolling. Man, I appreciate all you guys. You stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked.